Next news is out of Uttar Pradesh, India. A UP woman is shot in the face when she stopped dancing at a wedding. Um, so, yes, that's that's exactly what this entire bit of news is. A woman is at a wedding um, and she's dancing and two men can be heard on film talking about the woman who's dancing and and one guy says he's going to shoot her the other guy encourages um him by saying brother you should fire the gun and while he's standing behind her he shoots her in the face which before anyone wants to start talking about how um he shoots her in the jaw as she's looking to the side uh from behind mm -hmm. so um the bullet hits her in the face and uh shubham if you don't mind telling us why this is related to our news yeah, so the thing is like in places like Uttar Pradesh, uh, these parts, especially the rural parts, uh, it's like very, I mean, this these parts uh, have been uh, ignored by the government and there's absolutely no development or very less development in these parts and there's still traditionalists and very orthodox and religious. And so the village heads are usually like the most upper caste people in the village and they're like uh, they feel like they're superior to anyone they can do whatever they want and these two people who shot her they were like uh, the uh, relatives to the head of the village okay. so they so, were drunk so up wait, yeah. sorry, sorry up stands for so up woman that's for that stands for upper what no so that's for what uttar uttar pradesh uttar, uttar pradesh, pradesh. It right. means northern state. Northern state. Okay, so um, and you're saying that this is a, a very religious part of India, right? And you're saying it's an upper caste yeah. part of India. So you're saying you're saying that being upper caste in the India's uh, Hinduism, you know, caste system, gives these men a sense of entitlement, a sense of the ability to get away with doing stuff, um, doing you know. Stuff, yes, doing that's that's different. true. Really. So yep, yes, that's that's actually supported by religion as well. If you are upper caste, you can do whatever you want to the lower caste. That's supported by Hinduism. Oh, so so by so, religion. Oh, so you're saying this is actually in the religion that the upper caste can do anything they want with the lower caste, and that's um, yes. Okay, but was this woman lower caste? Uh, uh, she was a dancer, and in villages like that, dancers uh, are considered as lower caste because nowadays it's not just the Four castes and the outcasts. It's like divided into thousands and thousands of subcastes, sub and some castes have come from professions. Like, for example, the barber caste. If your profession, if people see your profession as a lowly job, they will give you a lower, very low caste. And she was just a dancer and a woman, so they don't see her much of, a, and it's someone equal. They of course see us as uh, inferior. How, why did and they... that's that's why they were I mean that's why they didn't really hesitate much they were drunk of course but they also saw themselves as superior that they can shoot a woman but why did they shoot her in the face I mean not that there's any it was it was just it was just what they wanted basically just what the, I mean it, it was a Hindu wedding okay and in these rural parts Hindu weddings have violence. I mean, violence in Hindu weddings is like a tradition as a culture now. There, if, if you don't have violence in your weddings, then that weddings is supposed to be like boring and stuff. Um, are you so? Beach is asking: Aren't the dancers at weddings usually prostitutes? Sometimes they could be. Okay. I mean, um, I'm not sure if they must be, but they could be. Um, do you um, do you know if what happened to these people that shot the woman? Guerrero? Okay, there were there are various articles suggesting different things. Like uh, one article is suggesting they were on the run. Another article is suggesting the police has identified them and gonna catch them anytime. And another article is suggesting like the police already caught them. But I don't know which one to believe. So it could be either. But the good news is that the woman is fine and she will live and she's in hospital. They took her to the hospital as soon as she got shot. So that's the good news. Um, Didn't this recently happen to another dancer in the same area? I don't think so. I'm not sure. Also, I mean, 
I mean, some people in the U.S. actually might say India has uh, strict gun laws and even gun violence is there as well. Well, the thing is, these guns are not legal guns. They are homemade guns called cutters. How is so, she? How is she doing? Is she going to recover? Yeah, she she is, she is going to recover. She is doing fine now. She is in hospital. And they're going to be able she's to gonna fix recover. It? Are they going to be able to? Fix yeah, I think. Uh, I think. I think they said they will be able to fix it. Oh, good. I mean, so, uh, Hannah is saying. Hannah is saying. Thankfully, the family did something about it instead of just uh, leaving her injured and and the culprits free. So the family. Why is that something that happens in India that the, the family just allows? I mean, it is possible that uh, no one because since uh, the shooters are like relatives of the village head it is it would have been possible like uh, that no one did anything but luckily they did, they did. so, so it's, that's why the woman it's interesting because um, some people from india are supporting what you're saying on the facebook comments they're saying up which is again what does that stand for i forgot uh, Uttar Pradesh. yeah so they're saying you I, I i'm not going to be able to say that so it says um, the, this person from India is saying, why am I not surprised? So it seems like some people from India are not shocked to hear a story like this from India, uh, from that part of India, which is very interesting that they're not, like a very religious part of India. Uh, again, another example, another story that shows that being very religious doesn't necessarily make people more moral. In fact, it, it seems it's, it's the opposite. It seems like from a very religious part of India, he, like Hindu part of India, um people from india like expect stories like this so yes we expect if if it's in up i mean nowadays no one's ever surprised at anything wow. so, it's it's worse than uh, it's worse than you what us americans would expect from alabama or florida it's worse than those it's so interesting because if this is expected from very religious communities like the, we, we are constantly sold even even by some atheists like you know even if religion is nonsense at least it gives some people some moral guide or and we keep saying like no it doesn't it, it doesn't seem to do that why do we like why is it that the worst things that we expect like the most bizarre and weird things usually happens in very religious communities like, like not always but it's not unheard of and the thing is that even if even if you can make the case that religion is not the source of these immoral problems what we're showing to you is that it doesn't avoid them either like it religion doesn't necessarily stop people from being immoral and sometimes sometimes it seems to be helping them become more uh, immoral which is yeah, interesting uh, atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening let's make it difficult for them to ignore us we have built a global community and now we are tearing down geographic cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.